please welcome Erin Debbie, Little Alita, and her oxygen carrying savior, Mr. Gibbs. I don't know that I've ever seen the kind of love between Alita and Mr. Gibbs. There's just something there that that goes beyond he, he the medical benefit. He absolutely knows what he's supposed to do. He, and if, if there's ever a time when she has to go and he can't go, he is beside himself. So how did he get to the point where he knew this was his job? His job was to carry oxygen for Alita. He was, uh, our trainer, Ashley Kinsley, trained him. And then um, we got him back in February. And start, we just had to start working with him kind of daily. It's kind of like homework. Um, but they, they built their bond through play. She throws even, a ball. Even before he came home with us, yeah. we would have play dates. We would meet with the trainer and nothing but play. That's, what, that's all they would do is they'd come and they would play. And so that, you know, that, that's when the bond really started. And they, the reality is they figured it out on their own. I mean, just letting the two of them interact and do their thing. They, he, he's just, he's an amazing dog. Alita, do you, do you love Mr. Gibbs? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and wow. so people understand why Alita needs oxygen. And she has something called knee-high neuroendocrine hyperplasia of infancy. And she needs oxygen continuously. Because if you think about it, this is a very unique, not a very common illness. But normally when someone, a child, is breathing in air and then they breathe out air, they breathe out 75% of that air which is mainly carbon dioxide, they're able to bring back in 75% of precious oxygen, which is an exchange with the blood. But in kids with knee high, in Alita's case, she's only exhaling about 60% of that air. So she's only bringing in 60% new air, new oxygen, and that oxygen has trouble getting into her bloodstream. So kids with knee high have low oxygen levels. They tend to have trouble gaining weight. And of course, in Alita's case, the need for oxygen at all times became apparent. And so Mr. Gibbs is really the only way she's able to have any independence. Yeah, absolutely.